my beautiful friends how are you doing it's Mimi here today so if you follow me on Instagram or if you just you know if you've been following me for a while you probably know that for the most part I do prefer wearing my hair down I don't know it just makes me feel I guess more feminine more like woman I don't know I just feel really confident and good wearing my hair down so I'm always thinking of different ways that I can wear my hair while still having it down and today I'm gonna show you one of those hairstyles I'm gonna show you how to create a really cool fishtail headband braid does that sound right? Fishtail headband. I guess fishtail headband braid, yes. <laughs> and you're just gonna need a few things and I'm gonna walk you through it, so let's begin. All right, so one of the things I'm gonna be using for this tutorial, which is kind of crucial, is two wefts from my older set of Luxie hair extensions. So this was a chocolate brown color. And the reason I chose this over this set that I'm wearing actually right now, which is an ombre, is because when I just have the ombre, it just, it's half of it is dark and half of it is light. It's kind of cool, but I actually wanted something to pop. So if I just put this color on, you see how it kind of pops? I mean, if you're not into it, you can just use your own hair or you can use the same color of extensions, but I really prefer to have something that's popping. So I'm going to be using two wefts and it's going to be the two clip wefts. And then what we're going to need is a hairbrush. We're going to need some bobby pins. We're going to need a hair elastic. And I'm also going to be using a hair pomade. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the two together, just like that. And I'll just give it a quick brush. And then in order for the hair to stay put and to have less flyaways and for the braiding to be easier, I'm just going to take these two, just fold it in half so you just kind of have one section of hair. This is what I'm going to be working with. Then I'm going to take my hair pomade, just going to go into it, you know, grab a little bit of product, maybe that's too much. <laughs> A little more and I'm just gonna run my fingers through the hair just to slick it over the hair this kind of makes it look greasy looking but this actually helps when you're braiding the hair okay so now I can show you how I'm gonna braid it all right so first I'm gonna just lay the hair down and like I showed you already I just fold the two wefts together in half and then just gonna run my fingers through it I'm gonna split the hair in two sections course try to make them equal <laughs> and then I'm just gonna start doing a fishtail braid now I'm gonna be alternating from a bit thicker section to a bit thinner section as I go down one thing to keep in mind is to hold the braid tight so you want to make sure it's tight and not loose so I'm gonna show you what I'm doing so I'm just going with my index finger grabbing a section of hair from the left bringing it to the right and then I'm going with my index finger from the right Taking a section of hair, bringing it to the left. And I'm just gonna be repeating the steps all the way down. And like I said, I'm gonna be alternating from thicker to smaller section just for like more interest. I think the braid looks cooler when you're working with different sections as you go down. So I just have to warn you that this does take a bit of time, you know, especially if you're working with longer extensions. And um, I just use this sort of as a practice to just breathe and calm myself. It's sort of like, I guess, kneading. So just relax and look at it as braiding meditation. And when you get to the end of your braid, just grab your hair elastic and secure the ends. And just fix the braid, sort of straighten it out, and then I'm gonna go in there and just pull on sections of the braid, just loosen it up just a little bit. Be careful at the ends. Now that I have my fishtail braid, the next step is attaching it onto my head. Love it! And I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is that I already didn't place any extensions around my ear because I need that space. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna separate this hair near my ear and just make sure there's nothing sticking out and then I'm gonna go with this clip I'm gonna just open one clip on the extensions and I'm gonna go as low as I can just to find some hair here right at the bottom of the ear I'm gonna go in with this clip and just attach it there so you're gonna feel you know a big bulge right behind your ear but then I'm gonna cover it with my hair and you can't really see it once it's covered and then I'm gonna take this braid and I'm just gonna bring it over all the way 
to the other side also separate it here and then go as far as it goes in the back right so it goes almost all the way to my neck and I'm just gonna grab my bobby pin and just secure the ends of the braid there in the back and then again you're gonna bring the hair over it so nobody can see anything it's gonna feel a little weird I mean you're gonna feel the bobby pin you're gonna feel the bulge but nobody can really see it So the cool thing about this hairstyle is that once you've braided the section, you can just leave it and use it whenever you need it so you don't have to redo this hairstyle every time. Let me know how you like this fishtail braid down below. Leave me a comment. I love reading your comments. Like this video. And also when you do recreate it, make sure to post it on your Instagram, Alexa here at hashtag. I also love checking out your recreations. You can also post it on Facebook. I'll be checking them out as well. Thank you so much for tuning in, my loves. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Hello, my name is Mimi.